What's going on YouTube? This is Mr. Scott 01 coming to you with another fragrance review. Today we're doing something a little bit different and we're exploring the house of Tom Ford. This is one house I haven't explored yet, but before we get into all the good things that we got coming on, let's roll my music. Now, there's a few things before we get started. First off, I would like to encourage you to like, share, subscribe, so you can see more things coming from me, Mr. Scott. Also too, we have a little help today from our friends at microperfumes.com. They have supplied the samples that we're gonna be using today in this video. Microperfumes.com, where you can buy samples with a twist top to open feature unlike those other guys with the loose tops that you can lose. They have over 450 fragrances to choose from with no subscription required and also free shipping for orders over $49. Save time and money as a 1.7 ounce of the fragrances in these videos on average cost around $120. Be sure to check and look in the description below for the website and more information. Now, first, we're looking at Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. Um, to be honest with you, I haven't smelled too many vetiver-based fragrances other than Terra Hermes and also Commodity Vetiver. Terra Hermes, it was average at best with Commodity. I really didn't care for it. Now, let's see what this one right here is going to do. Like I said, this one is from Micro Perfumes. If you notice... It twists up almost similar to Terre Hermes. Let's see if this one uh, is a little bit different or is better than Terre Hermes, in my opinion. This is a nice travel container, I must say. Has micro perfumes written right there. It's offered in a 5 ml and grave vetiver. All your information on the back is Eau de Parfum. Now, let's get into the actual scent to see if there's something I can go for. Nice sprayer, nice sprayer. Now, off top with this one, I get grapefruit. Vetiver is a uh, almighty player in this one right here, but it's not overpowering. Also, too, you get orange blossom. After that, orange blossom comes in pretty good, which isn't too long after the grapefruit. In the midst, you get that nutmeg, that nice, warming feel nutmeg. Then from there, you start to get a little bit of powder. And that powder is coming from the orange root that's in this fragrance. And it's done quite well in my opinion. The amber is an early player in this one right here. And on my skin, this one lasts about a good seven hours total with a good three hours of moderate projection. And to be honest with you, I like this one better than Terra Hermes and also better than Commodity Vetiver, definitely. Um, I would recommend this for any age group this one right here was very well done. I'm impressed with the house of Tom Ford uh, from the beginning, out the gate. Now, the next one that we're going to look at is Tom Ford Noir. Tom Ford Noir. Let's get my opinion on this one. This one is in one of the little wine samples, but even on these wine samples, you know, they're labeled pretty good from Michael Perfumes. Now, this is what I will suggest. If you're going to go with one of these wines, make sure you put it in an itemizer. Itemizing a fragrance always brings it out. If you don't believe me, check out my review of, of Initial Parfums, Bless Baraka. But that's a whole nother story. It opens the fragrance all the way up. Ah, we're good to go. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. From this one, I get the bergamot. I get the violet. I get the iris in this one. Rose, pepper, nutmeg. You get sweetness in the base coming from the vanilla and the amber, but also too, you get just a hint of leather and it keeps this whole presentation masculine. But this is a very appealing scent and I don't see how anyone could not like this, but I'm sure there's some people out there don't like too much of anything. I get about four hours of moderate projection from this one and it lasts on my skin around seven or eight hours, which isn't bad for what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get me a bottle. To me, I would make this one right here a day scent. Something to wear in the day. But of course, it's suitable for a date night or whatever you have. But in my personal opinion, this would be a day scent. Now let's see what Noir 
Extreme is like. Now, Tom Ford New Orleans Stream, this is also in a small, in a one type sample. So you know what we're gonna do with this? We're gonna put it in our itemizer. With some YouTube magic, I have already wiped off this hand right here. So we're good to go. And I've also put our one sample into an itemizer. So now we're gonna check out Tom Ford New Orleans Stream EDP and see if there any difference. Oh yeah, this one is nice. You get cardamom, rose, nutmeg. You get amber sweetness comes through early with some vanilla and sandalwood. You can't go wrong with either one of these. This one right here is more sexy. I would say this is for the evenings out and things like that. The regular Tom Ford Noir is good as well. It's more complex. And yet at the same time, I still feel it's more suitable for the daytime. Now, if I had to choose between both of these, I would go with this stream. The regular Tom Ford Noir is very nice. It's very complex, but yet still there's something so seductive and confident about this Noir stream. So definitely Noir stream, but if you just went ahead and just got the regular Noir, you can't go wrong with that. With this one right here, I get a good eight to 10 hours of longevity, a good three hours of projection. But hey, this whole line that we have been reviewing from Tom Ford, I love it and I'm definitely a fan. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. We have just reviewed some different fragrances from Tom Ford. Um, just like a little small exploration of the, of the house. I got to say I'm impressed from what I smell. I'd like to thank microperfumes.com once again for providing all the samples that we have uh, went through tonight. I thank you. Please stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. Check out my other videos. And until next time, I'll see you later.